All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Kansas City Chiefs in today's video. I was actually golfing earlier today, and we we're just talking about the NFL season here. Um, I'm a Green Bay Packers diehard fan through and through, but the Kansas City Chiefs terrify everybody in the NFL. And coming from an NFC fan, um, if you're a fan of any team in the AFC, it just sucks. Like, it, it just literally sucks, man. But if you're a Kansas City Chiefs fan, uh, you're living pretty lavishly right now. So, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs have been going through training camp for a couple of weeks. Now we have preseason starting soon. We got the regular season starting soon. And, you know, nothing really needs to be said. If we're keeping it a buck, nothing really needs to be said other than the fact that Kansas City Chiefs have won back to back. Super Bowl champions and they're going for history here to make it three straight and um to be honest with you man we've been covering the Kansas City Chiefs just about every single day through training camp on this channel I understand it's training camp I understand pads were just put on it's not live action reps in preseason or regular season but it's a terrifying team it literally is a terrifying team so we're going to talk about a couple of players in today's video that they just literally have in their back right pocket that's where i typically throw my wallet i go back left with the zins um they have all these guys in either pocket it actually doesn't really matter so we're going to talk about that in tonight's video but before we do if you guys enjoy it be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button for daily nfl content uh we've been covering the kansas city chiefs just about every single day i don't know why that would stop so if we could try and get this video to 250 likes that would seriously mean the absolute world to me now I'm going to go through guys like Kingsley, Xavier, uh, but we're going to hold that for just a minute or two because I haven't talked about LRZ in a couple of videos here, or at least a long term. Um, Lewis Reese Zamet ran the length of the field for a touchdown in Chiefs training camp a couple of days ago. There's 53 men that make every single NFL roster. I just actually checked the Kansas City Chiefs depth chart. They technically had LRZ as running back number four. Um, I'm not too worried about depth chart. I'm not too worried about any of that fun stuff because, you know, to be honest with you, the cream always rises to the top. All roads eventually lead to Rome. And if Luz Ray Zamet is that dude, it, it's just going to be a matter of time. So we saw a drill recently where he caught the ball, used his 24 miles per hour. 24 miles per hour run time. Nope, he runs 24 miles per hour. Uh, this is a 23-year-old rugby superstar. And I don't use the word superstar very like or very loosely, I should say. If you guys have been watching this channel, I hate calling non-superstars superstars. LRZ in rugby Welshman, he was a freaking superstar. So we saw him of a tacklers, and he ended up running that kick return home um he's been getting huge endorsements from a ton of players whether it's coaches or players or patrick mahomes or mvp mahomes patrick mahomes said this he's fast he's very fast we're starting him at running back he'll do a lot of special team stuff and he can actually catch it looks a little bit different he catches it like he's catching a rugby ball but he never drops the football so you don't complain and i think what's been the best part about it is he works his tail off the athletic ability is unreal he's got the toughness but until he gets in the game and understands how to move and how to use that athletic ability you don't exactly know where he's at but when he's in space man he can make stuff happen so i keep saying this in every chiefs video i talk about lrz in. i don't care if he's running back four i don't care if he's on special teams i don't really care lrz will make the roster i would put freaking that in pen um He's going to make the roster, and at some point in his rookie season this upcoming year, he will have an impact. He will have some type of role this upcoming season. But I just like that I keep hearing positive things coming out of training camp about LRZ. So next, we're going to move forward to some tweets from Pete Sweeney. You can follow him on Twitter, PG Sween, S-W-E-E-N. Uh, there's a huge battle going on at left tackle, and I want to keep you guys updated here. So this is what we heard earlier today from Pete. I would not call it a perfect camp for Kingsley, but I'm not sure that it was expected for a rookie entering the F NFL. After the first few days of rotating with Wanya Morris, Kingsley has been taking all the top team left tackle reps in padded work so here's what's crazy 
you know, we went through non-padded practice for the last, like, what, two weeks for the Kansas City Chiefs, and they just recently threw the pads on. Pre-pad rotations, pre-pad depth chart doesn't really mean Jack Diddley squat. What does matter is what kind of rotations they're running, first team, second team, et cetera, once the pads come on. So the fact that we see Kingsley Suamatia at left tackle getting first team reps, that tells me a freaking lot. But I do just want to say real quick what Pete threw in there about Wanya Morris because it still is a camp battle. At times, Wanya Morris has looked more solid than Kingsley, in particularly in pass protection. But the Chiefs remain bullish. Andy Reid said this, you've got to be able to go back to back to back to back these things. And he's working his tail off doing that. And then the mental part, we're throwing a ton at him, but I like the way he's going about it. I like the way he's fighting in there. He's going to be okay as we roll here. Folks, if Kingsley ends up winning this left tackle role, I don't know why. Like the, the draft type was already there. If Kingsley ends up winning the left tackle role, I don't know why the Kansas City Chiefs don't have their star left tackle for the next couple of seasons. So there's a little bit of hype right there. Moving forward, a sleeper on the season, Irv Smith Jr. So this is so interesting because you have Travis Kelsey, you have Noah Gray, and then you have Jared Wiley as wide, or tight end, sorry, number three, two, and one. Enter Irv Smith Jr. Irv has a really interesting NFL career. He was a first-round dude coming out of Alabama, gets drafted to the Minnesota Vikings, doesn't do too much, deals with whatever, and then he moves to Cincinnati last year, and it was extremely underwhelming. But he's like tight end number four on the depth chart right here. So we have a tweet here from Pete. When the Chiefs drafted Jared Wiley in the fourth round of the NFL draft, it was easy to say the writing was on the wall for Smith, considering we know how Kelsey, or sorry, Kansas City feels about Noah Gray and, of course, Travis Kelsey. But Smith's really come on this weekend. The former second rounder, sorry, I think I just called him a first rounder, had at least nine catches during scrimmage work Saturday and Sunday including three touchdowns. I know Andy Reid would prefer to have four tight ends on the roster so as, as long as they prove capable. Smith is doing that so far in my view. It's an unbelievable tight end room. Oh, Jesus, dude. Sorry, I got to throw this in out. Irv Smith, Noah Gray, rookie Jared Wiley, and Travis Kelsey. The Chiefs have the best tight end room in the National Football League. All right, I'll just say that right here. Now, we were going to talk about two more dudes, Nico Remigio and Xavier Worthy, but we'll save that for another day because it's getting a little bit late here on Sunday night. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. We were posting daily Chiefs videos, but now it's kind of like five times a week. So stay tuned. Let's try and get this video to 250 likes. And let me know who's your sleeper guy on the roster right now that you've got your eye on. For me personally, it's not only LRZ, I think that's obvious, but it's also now Irv Smith Jr. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button if you haven't already. Let me know down below who you got an eye on in camp that's under the radar, and we will see you tomorrow, baby.